This is the pharmacy, we're in your neighborhood You need some drugs, and we've got the goods This is the pharmacy, customers can be mean They cut you out just for offering the vaccine This is the pharmacy, where life is not fair Because corporate puts metrics over patient care This is the pharmacy, we sell you OTC if you want to defend, we'll need to see some ID This is the pharmacy, life is so hectic Because corporate got so many damn metrics This is the pharmacy, we treat anxiety Work is so stressful, we need psychiatry This is the pharmacy, we got buy one get one free If you don't like safe sex, then we've got plan B This is the pharmacy, where work is no treat we do the best we can. Welcome to Pharmacy Street. Dr. Shaw, thanks for spending 30 minutes with me to go over how to use my insulin pens. You demonstrating how to use my one-touch ultra-diabetic testing device was a great help, too. To be honest, when they first told me I was going to have to start taking insulin, I was nervous and I felt overwhelmed. But you've helped to put my mind at ease. Thank you. And sorry I had to stop so many times to help answer the phones and help ring people up at the register. That's not fair to you. No need to apologize. You're a busy man and so many people need you. I don't know why they don't get you more help. To be honest, me either. It seems dangerous to have the pharmacist running around like that. Oh, it's dangerous, all right. But you know, corporate's motto, profits over patient care. I have to be honest, I used to get mad when I would have to wait 20 minutes to pick up my metformin, but now I see how much they ask of you with very little help. I don't know how you do it. If it was me, I don't think I could sleep at night, wondering if I made a mistake that might have harmed someone, or even worse, killed someone. Yeah, to be honest, sometimes I have trouble sleeping at night. I stay up thinking about, what if I made a mistake today? I'm going to call corporate and tell them that this isn't right. Yeah, they don't care. If you can, contact the State Board of Pharmacy and let them know. Well, I will do like you said and contact the State Board of Pharmacy. We got a ton to type. I just typed 35 prescriptions by myself. There's still another 30 to type. There's a ton to fill. Nobody to fill it. Cars wrapped around the building. I can't believe they cut us 40 hours. I'm surprised we haven't killed anybody yet. Yeah, this place is a mess, Jamal. The whole time I was trying to counsel that man on his diabetes medications, all I kept thinking about was metrics. I was so worried about my phone wait times, I forgot to tell him to prime his insulin pens. Oh. I should be focused on counseling patients, not metrics. And they have the nerve to wonder why we have incorrect packages sold here. I know, Jamal. I don't know how we're ever going to get caught up. Oh, how could this day possibly get any worse? Hey, uh, just letting you know, warehouse will be late today. It's supposed to be 19 totes. <laughs> oh, and uh, the district manager will be here in five minutes. <laughs> That'll do it. What the f*** does the district manager want? No, I don't know what he wants. I, I, I think something about flu shots. Oh, uh, flu shots came in this weekend. Oh, man. Retail pharmacy is so bad. Hi. How can I help you find something? No. Okay, if you need anything, just stop by the pharmacy, okay? You died two weeks ago in the pharmacy from exhaustion. Retail pharmacy is so bad. I died two weeks ago and went to hell and didn't even know it. Hey, well, look on the bright side of things. At least we don't have metrics in hell. <laughs> hey, let me ask you a question. Why did I go to hell? Well, when you signed on at Come Visit Satan, you exchanged your soul for money. Hey, if I die in the pharmacy, do not resuscitate me, okay? There's nothing worse I could think about is seeing the bright lights and on my way to heaven and you guys bring me back to life and I end up back in hell. Let me be. How do you know you're going to heaven? 
Look, just know this. If I die in the pharmacy, whether I go to heaven or hell, either way, I'm in a better place. Uh, Jamal, I got a complaint from a customer. Uh, did you put 50 staples in the patient's prescription? Uh, uh, the patient counted them and, and said it took her like 40 minutes to open the prescription. Hypothetically speaking, if I did put 50 staples in her bag, it was for a good reason. She called the pharmacy and told me she had a medical card. Called the pharmacy, swore she had a medical card, but she doesn't, okay? I did find out that she has Blue Cross now. She has $5 copays on her prescriptions. She got all upset because she said she should have a medical card. So I called the state. They said she's no longer covered. I get all the prescriptions ready. She comes through the drive-thru. She wants me to run them all through a discount card. Now I explained to this crazy lady that it wasn't going to be any cheaper. Of course, now the prescriptions is 30, 40, 60 bucks and she wants me to run it again through Blue Cross and Blue Shield like I already had it. Thus, so since she wasted about 40 minutes of my time, I figured I hypothetically would waste 40 minutes of her time. So that's when I hypothetically put 50 staples in her prescriptions. Look, I know our customers can be kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Rude, delusional, demanding, needy, arrogant. I mean, I could play this game all day. Uh, yeah, probably all of those, um, but you can't keep, you know, getting customer complaints or else I'm going to have to write you up. And I don't want to do that. I, I love having you work here and, and you're good at your job, but, but at times you can be, I don't know, a bit sassy. <laughs> okay, all right. Just do better, please. Okay. Hello, what's your name? Hi, I'm Jamal. Benji. The district manager, nice to finally meet you, Jamal. We've met like three times before. Do you know why I am here today, Dr. Shaw? If I had to guess to get on my damn nerves. I don't know, sir. It's flu season. How many flu shots have you sold? None. We just got flu shots two days ago. No excuses. I want an action plan by the end of the week on how you are going to meet your flu shot goal of 700 shots. 700? We didn't even do 600 flu shots last year. Ah. Either you meet your goal or next year I will find someone who will. 5, 10... 15, 20, 30. Also, your phone wait time is 2 minutes 30 seconds. The goal is to answer all calls in 2 minutes or less. Why are you not meeting the goal, Dr. Shaw? Pharmacy has 6 phones and only 2 people working. There's not enough people here to even answer all the phones. All I heard was excuses. Get the phone wait time under two minutes or else. This is your verbal warning. Hey James, can you answer the phone? Hold on ma'am, give me one second. Don't he see I'm working drive through Make sure you're on the pharmacy phone call tomorrow regarding flu shots. Now I gotta fit this stupid conference call into my busy work schedule? <sighs> Man, where did he go to pharmacy school? Jackass College of Pharmacy? He didn't go to pharmacy school. He's not a pharmacist. You mean he's not a pharmacist? How can somebody who's not a pharmacist tell you how to run a pharmacy if they never worked in a pharmacy? The more I learn about retail pharmacy, the less I want to work in it. Yeah, and the more I work, the less I want to be a pharmacist. Hey boss, I was watching the Animal Planet. 
Did you know that a mongoose could kill a snake? Yeah, I think we should get a pet mongoose for the pharmacy.